plaintiff, Raymond Maple, dated the defendant, but their relationship was rocky because of the defendant's heavy drinking. Raymond claims he and a friend once stopped the defendant while she was driving and drunk and gave her a sobriety test, and he caught the whole incident on video. He's suing her today for attorney fees and emotional distress. Defendant Sandra Brown insists she does not have a drinking problem and she has no idea what Raymond's talking about. Sandra claims she broke up with Raymond after he threatened to assault her and she's countersuing for emotional distress and unreturned property. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Judge Mathis, me and Mrs. Brown was in a relationship from 2007 to 2013. The relationship was rocky. We had a lot of problems. One of the main issues we would argue about is her drinking problem. Um, one of the incidents that had happened was she was over the house. My one friend of mine was over the house. Mrs. Brown was drunk. She drove away in a car. My buddy told me that she was gone, so we went to go get her. So upon us going to get her, we had stopped her, and then we did a sobriety check on the side of the road. Had her walk You the police? No, I'm not the police. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not the police. Liars. <laughs> Liars. Go ahead. So you went and chased her down? How no, we didn't chase her. We found her, followed her and found her, and pulled her over and had her do a sobriety check. How did you check. pull over? I was behind her. We were flashing the lights. Yeah, well, she you are the police. You flash. <laughs> You planned, police. You flashed the lights. And how did you get... She pulled over. How did yeah. you get her to do a sobriety? You had the thing that you broke? No, no, no. What we did was we had her walk the cracks in the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, I sir. So you told her this and she was did just it? voluntarily yes, doing it? Yes, she did. Did you tell her she had a right to a lawyer? No, I didn't tell her that. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. So you told her to walk the uh, line and yes. what happened? Okay, she walked the lines. You could see she was visibly drunk had her stand on one foot with her leg out. <laughs> she also, she also failed that too, Judge Mathis. I submitted a video to your court. Have you had a nip today yep. yourself? I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink, Judge Mathis. <laughs> Ma'am, tell me about this nonsense first. Yeah, I have no idea what he's talking about at this moment. I she looks like a very healthy know. woman. Is she still an alcohol She's telling a lie. addicted? Mrs. What? Brown is a diabolical liar. What I know, what I know, um, Judge Mathis, is that he comes from a family of alcoholics. And she drinks with him. <laughs> <laughs> you did say you know. <laughs> I do know. Go ahead. And, and because I have, maybe if I take a drink or two, he associate that with being a alcoholic. No, he doesn't drink, obviously. He doesn't no, drink. I don't drink. At all. I don't all. drink, Judge Mathis. But his family does. You do anything else? Fast cars, that's me. Huh? Fast cars. Fast cars? No other substance abuse? No. Okay. No. No, he don't. No. All right. You all get into it a lot over that? That's what he sounds like he's saying? Well, Normally, when I would come in, he's already laying down and sleep, so I would not even bother him. So where he... I don't know where his mind he is. You can smell it when you come in if you're drunk. Yeah, oh, but yeah, Judge sleep. Mathis, you can he smell it. wake you up out your sleep. No. Judge Mathis, Mrs. Brown is a liar. I submitted a video to your court. Let them play the video, and you be the judge of it. All right, we haven't even talked about the case. <laughs> <laughs> You more upset about the, her being <laughs> drunk than you are about the case. We haven't even gotten to what you're suing for, but okay. Let's see the tape. Let's see the tape. <laughs> Roll the tape. You're like you're about to do something to me if you don't see this tape. Go ahead. Stand on one foot, Sandra. Uh, Hold your foot out and stand up just like this. This is crazy. Without leaning on the car. Sandra, move, move from the car and stand up with your foot out for 30 seconds. <laughs> Hold, your foot Hold, your foot Hold your foot out for 30 seconds. When did you do that, Raymond? She don't even know I took him. You drunk as hell. So this is the only way you thought she would recognize she's been <laughs> drunk in her life? Yes. You don't think because, the woman no, she knows all, she's no, drunk? No, she would always say that she's not drunk. She wasn't drunk. 
And I told her the next time that she ends okay. up like that, I'm on video. How'd you all break up and when? We broke up in 2013. Why? Me and Mrs. Brown broke up in 2013 over a vehicle, over the vehicle. The case in hand? Yes. All right, we'll talk about that. Any other background no, from you? No, that wasn't why we all broke right. up. All right. Okay, why did you break up? We broke up because he threatened to punch me and break every bone in my face. Why? June 17th, because we had came back from Myrtle Beach and he had said it was something stupid. A Longhorn commercial came on and he a wanted what to a Longhorn, Longhorn Steakhouse. Steakhouse. And he said, oh, I'm going to get a steak today. I said, okay. I said, well, let's go to Longhorn. Oh, you just want my money. You just want my money. And I said, no, that wasn't the case. I would I would have paid for it. All right, so what occurred at the, that and caused he, you all to break up? He walked out the door. When he walked out the door, I, wa I followed him, arguing with him. He stuck his hand back behind the door, and I, at the same time, I was slamming the door, and his arm got stuck in. Okay. And when I find, and I sat down mind. on the steps and and held this so my so his feet held my feet so he couldn't get back in the door. When I finally did let him in. I'm backing up the steps, and he put his fist in my face, and he said, I will break every bone in your face. If and you ever assault him again. He just said he'll break every bone. If you in. assaulted him again. He didn't say that, oh. but all I saw is that it, 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 I saw the threat okay. of him doing it, and right. usually when the threat comes, eventually it happens, because I have lived that before, and I was fearful of my life. Well, you're the one that had attacked him already. You had assaulted him. And Thank you, Judge Mathis. Him on purpose, you did, you though. slammed his... What? Not on purpose, though. I didn't know he was going to stick Judge his Mathis, arm back in. Judge Mathis, what happened? Just... Go ahead. No, let's move on. He put his fist in my face, and he said, I will break every bone in your face. If and you ever assault him again. He just said he'll break every bone. If you assaulted him again. He didn't say that, oh. but all I saw is that... It, it, I saw the threat. Oh. of him doing it, and oh. usually when a threat comes, eventually it happens. Defendant Sandra Brown dated the plaintiff, but she claimed she broke up with him after he threatened to assault her. What are you suing her about today? I'm suing her about this vehicle that um, we had a contract on, a, not a notarized contract. Okay, tell me about it. Me and Mrs. Brown entered into this contract right here in May of 2013. Saying what? Saying that... She was supposed to list me as the um, lien holder you on the title. You sold her a car? No, I loaned her money to purchase a vehicle. Uh -huh. Okay, now, she's supposed to make me the lien holder on the title, mm -hmm. which she didn't do. You have the contract Here's there? the contract right here. And, right. I don't and, that, know. and that states that in here? Yes, it does. And she failed to do it, and then what happened from there? Well, I had to obtain an attorney to enforce the contract. Okay. She's supposed to make payments of $200 a month until her personal... And you were supposed to be co-owner or a, have a lien a against lien the on. ownership. Yes, yes. And you never received that lien. No, she I She never didn't. added you as she a never, lien she holder. She never signed an MV900 form from Department right. of Motor Vehicles. Okay, and how did right. that affect you? Mrs. Brown stopped paying on the truck in May of March of 2014. Mm -hmm. I have the... And the contract was if she stopped paying on it, you would enforce it, and you have, and you went through an attorney to do so. Yes. The... And what was the result of that? that legal action. We had got the vehicle back, but okay. also on the contract, it states that um, all costs, expenses, and expenses, including without limitation to complete legal costs occurring by enforcing this contract. Put a, uh, a star by that part, complete legal costs. Ma'am, what do you tell me? Well, what do you want to tell me about this? He I says you breached the contract and it caused him to incur uh, legal fees in which he is now suing you for. Your Honor, um, I made arrangements and asked him several times to meet me at the DMV because not only did I want him to... What happened? I wanted him to have the vehicle back. And what happened? He never, he never came through. How many times? About three or four. Okay. Did That's he ever tell you matches. why? Did he ever tell you why? No, he... You have any of those text the messages? The reason he, he didn't is because he wanted to take me through these courts and... That's a lie, Judge Mathis. Take you to the courts for what? Because we was in Supreme Court first. They dropped it. They dismissed dropped it. Dropped what? The case against me about the vehicle. He took it to Supreme Court. They dismissed it. Then he got it into city court. They dismissed it. And then it got to civil court. So he was doing all of this stuff to Sir, try to... Sir, has been to court already? Yeah, it's... I got the vehicle back. My attorney suggested yeah. that I and now you sue want her your attorney, small claim. Please. Exactly. Okay, so he won the case. He won the case for All the right, vehicle. and now he wants the attorney fees for the case that he won. He won, right? right? 
Okay, but All right, I so let's start there. He won. And today he's suing you for the attorney fees in the case that he won but what against I'm you. To say and is now I, I heard what you're trying to say. Judge and Matthew, the contract I... says that he gets attorney fees that he had to incur in winning the case against you. Your emotional distress is for what? The emotional distress is when I had contacted Mrs. Brown. I sent her this text message. And then Mrs. Brown took me to family court and said that I threatened to beat her up. And what happened when you went to court? The, it was dismissed. Okay. So you're saying this is uh, Melissa's prosecution. She took you to court over yes. something she made up that you didn't do. Exactly. All right. It and... was dismissed with prejudice. All right, ma'am, what do you say to this? He says he's suing you for emotional distress to taking him to court for something he didn't do and that it was dismissed. The initial threat that he did to me, it, that was a after threat. After you slammed it, his hand. After, let's go to the next incident. And after that, his family um, started threatening me. Now tell me what he did, not his family. Threatening well, me. He, he, he continued to threaten me. All of any, them did. did. And when? Why did the judge dismiss it when you went? No, before? he didn't. The judge didn't dismiss it. I he the, I I moved on several occasions. That's the second and, time. Hold on. And what happened? I moved on several occasions, and dismissed? I felt safe, and I dismissed it. I okay. told him that I didn't need it no more because I moved. You told the judge that? Yes. Okay. And they, you have and that? They dismissed it. They, yeah. Do you have the transcript? Because it'll show in the court transcript. Well, Raymond, you what ain't got you the have? transcript. He got it. I'm not proving your case for you. <laughs> Judge Matthews, what do you have? this is the first time that me and Mrs. Brown went to court. Right there. And what does this say? Sir, you've given me 50 pages. This is the first one where Mrs. Brown took me to court. She had no evidence. So Show me case... something that says it was dismissed right and here. why. Here it, here it is. There you go. Here it is. And you say that you had a reason to prosecute him. Do you have any evidence showing your reason was well, determined to be legitimate? I have witnesses. No, she don't. I had witnesses' um, statements. I had him charged for um, harassing me and, and, and you haven't and told me what he's done. She took an order of protection out on me, Judge Mathis. I heard. Go ahead. What, is, what did he do, man? He, he threatened me. He threatened to, to beat me up. When did he say something to you? June 17th. What did he say? That he would break every bone in my face. All right. And that, that was that after you had just slammed his hand? Yeah. All right. Another time. Give me another incident other than the time that you assaulted him first. That he... Well, there was really there wasn't was no, no other incident? No. All right. Say he's suing you for emotional distress and taking him to court for something he didn't do and that it was dismissed. The initial threat that he did to me, it, that was a after threat. After you slammed his hand. After, let's go to the next incident. And after that, his family... Um, started threatening me. Now tell me what he did, not his family. Defendant Sandra Brown dated the plaintiff, but she claimed she broke up with him after he threatened to assault her. And your counterclaim, ma'am, how does he owe you for unreturned property and emotional distress? Well, I have a bedroom set and um, a bedroom set that I left there because the day that he did threaten me, I just got out of there as soon as I could. Good. Um, because I've been through that before and I didn't yeah. want it to be a repeat. And also, um, he had, uh, he interfered. I had a personal injury case going on and he went and contacted the opposing lawyer and showed pictures of us going to uh, Myrtle Beach and stuff and he did a deposition and everything causing me to lose my case. And, right. um, and let's get back to your unreturned property okay. first. Uh, you moved. You yeah. left your bedroom. Correct. Did you try and go back to get it? And if so, when? Uh, no, I didn't try. And I didn't. I just wanted him to go away. You I didn't never called be... him about it? Oh, yeah. I've, I've asked him That's about it. I'm and asking. he never told... He never said that, come get Blind it, or I can matters. have it, or did anything. Did he just deny you deny the op me, yes. opportunity? Yes. What did he say? He just said that you, I don't have anything here. Did you yeah. ever tell her you didn't no, have I anything? No, I didn't. Just, this is the first of me hearing about Mrs. Brown wanted this bedroom set. You haven't seen it? The bedroom set yeah. was in Have my house. Yeah, have you seen it in the house? It was in my house, Judge Matthews. What the deal? Don't you know it's hers? No, it wasn't hers. Oh, Mrs. Who's Brown it? worked at a drug. Who bought it? Me. No, she didn't. It, the Who purchased it? The company that she worked for purchased it. All right, said so it was hers. Right. All right. Judge Matthews, can I explain that, please? No. All right. Your furniture. How much uh, do you want for 1, that? One thousand. One thousand. Yeah. All right. Two thousand for your legal fees. One thousand for your furniture. I'll give you your money for your attorney fees, as you have won that case. Have a good day. One thousand and two thousand. I have nothing to say. 
I just hope Raymond get through his anger issues and stop letting this hinder him because it's probably going to make him sicker than anything else.